Hi, my name is Robert Cornell. I'm the Inventory Control Manager with Carter Blood Care. I'm responsible for providing training for the distribution staff here at Carter Blood Care, which is one of the reasons why we're doing this. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to pack red cells in a shipping box in the event that you have to transport blood or arrange to transport blood to another hospital in the event of an emergency. Prior to removing the red blood cells from the refrigerator, you're going to want to assemble your packing materials. This includes a clean, undamaged shipping box, five to seven pounds of bagged wet ice, absorbent material, packing tape uh, or duct tape, hand ship ticket form, and a, tr a plastic trash bag of some kind, a hefty bag, what have you. Once you've assembled your packing materials, you can remove the red blood cells from refrigerated storage and begin the packing process. First, you're going to want to document the unit information that will go on your hand ship ticket form. This includes the blood unit number, the expiration date, the product code, and the blood type. Once the unit information is documented, you begin packing the units by first placing absorbent material at the bottom of the plastic bag that is in the shipping box. As you place the units in the shipping box, make sure that you place them in upright with the tops folded down. Any extra space after packing the units should be taken up with crumpled up newspaper or more absorbent material, something to use up the extra space in the shipping box. We're using newspaper in our example. After the units are packed, place a more absorbent material above the packed units. Then place the bagged wet ice on the absorbent material over the units. Close the insulation and the top and sides of the shipping box and seal with packing tape or duct tape. If you have any questions about this packing process, feel free to contact the distribution department at Carter Blood Care. That number is 817-412-5700.